Click the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to never miss another update. The sound of the water dripping from the fountain echoed outside the large castle. The sun glistened against the water, causing it to sparkle. However, this peaceful scene was soon mined by the sounds of stomping as the soldiers marched outside the castle. One soldier approached the arriving caravan roughly. His evil eyes and stiff demeanor were so harsh that even the camel started to cry as he brutally pulled its body down to the ground. All of a sudden, the soldier pulled out his whip and lashed the ground next to the camel, causing the camel to screech and forcing the other camels to kneel down out of fear. The soldier harshly called out to the people in the caravan, Get off! The other soldiers began marching towards the caravan and grabbed the women and children, tying their hands together before dragging them towards the entrance of the castle. After tying up all the women and children, they reached the only man in the caravan. The angry soldier tried with all his might to push the man off the camel, but the man stayed steady. Even though he had large wounds and his hands were tied, he was able to get off the camel on his own. Can you guess who these captives were? The strong man was Imam Sajjad, and the women and children were the loved ones of Karbala. The angry soldier said to the other soldiers, Make sure they all get inside. Make sure none of these worthless people leave your eyes. The soldiers began whipping the women and children, trying to get them into a straight line. The children started screaming and crying as they tried to move as close to their mothers as possible. Sadly, they were all herded like sheep into the castle. Finally, they entered a large room with green velvet curtains and luxurious furniture. A terrible man sat atop a large throne covered in jewels, gleefully waiting for the prisoners to enter. This terrible man was the evil Caliph Yazid. He sat on his throne, drinking wine and eating luxurious food with his advisors, all while the caravan of Karbala was being brutally brought in. Yazid let out a loud and menacing laugh as the family of the Prophet was brought before him. However, he stopped laughing abruptly when he saw Imam Sajjad among the prisoners. He rose from his throne and demanded, Who is this? I thought you said all the men died in Karbala. One of his advisors whispered into his ear, My master, this man is Sajjad. He is the son of Hussein. It seems that when our soldiers found him, he was very sick. So they did not kill him and made him a prisoner instead. Yazid snickered loudly and said to Mama Sajjad, Huh, so, Ali, son of Hussein, what did you see in Karbala? The Imam looked at Yazid and calmly responded, I saw something that Allah knew of even before he created the heavens and the earth. Yazid's smile quickly faded and he angrily sat back down on his throne. He picked up an apple and stared at it, thinking hard about what he should do. He turned to a group of his advisors and they quietly discussed this matter for a short while. Then, Yazid suddenly yelled, KILL HIM! Immediately, two soldiers, dressed in red, came forward and drew their swords. They grabbed the Imam by his arms and began dragging him outside. Upon seeing this terrifying sight, the women and children began crying loudly. However, one young child amongst the prisoners, who was only five years old, marched right up to Yazid. This young boy was the brave Imam al-Baqir. He stood before Yazid and glared at him in anger. Yazid furiously looked down at the child and shouted, Who are you and what do you want? Should I kill you too? Yazid threw his apple to the side and laughed again. The young Imam was not shaken by this. He bravely replied, Oh Yazid, your viziers gave you the complete opposite advice of what the Pharaoh's viziers told him. When the Pharaoh asked them for advice on what to do with Prophet Musa and his brother Harun, they said, do not kill him. However, your viziers told you to kill my father. There is a reason for that. This response made Yazid stop laughing. He was puzzled at the young Imam's words and impatiently asked, what is the reason? Imam al-Baqir responded, your viziers are the worst of people, but the viziers of the Pharaoh were not like that. They are the worst because you are the worst and lowest of humans. You know why? 
because no one in his right mind orders for a prophet or his family to be killed. The room suddenly fell silent. Everyone held their breath as they waited to see how Yazid would reply. As Yazid looked around, all he could see was the awe in everyone's eyes as they stared at the brave young Imam. The Imam had spoken so wisely that no one could say anything. Yazid's demeanor immediately changed from arrogance to embarrassment. He lifted up his ring-filled hands towards the two soldiers and they bowed to Yazid before slowly moving away from Imam Sajjad. Yazid quickly turned his anger from the family of the Prophet to his advisors. They began to shake with fear and their faces turned green with panic. He shouted at them, I should kill you all instead, you lowly beings! He didn't know what to do. He felt so defeated. He hit the sides of his throne loudly and screamed, Everyone! Out! Out! Everyone quickly began streaming out of the castle. All the while, the words of young Imam al-Bakr continued to haunt Yazid.